Hey again, I'm back. Um, I got another angel off the tree. I let the flying fickle finger of fate pick the angel. You know, because they're all turned. So the front of, it's like a little paper angel on the tree. And the information on the child is on the back. So you have to flip it over to see. And I just thought, okay, we're going to take one more. We will let fate decide which of these I pick. And I just kind of looked over the whole tree and picked one. Boom. And we have a five-year-old boy who loves Hot Wheels cars and Paw Patrol. Um, and he hopes to get cars and a scooter for Christmas. Um, they didn't circle yes or no for clothes and for the sizes. They only had sizes for a few things like shirts and pants and underwear and that was it. Um, but so I'm going to be shopping for that. I may actually go do a little bit of shopping today because I have some free time this afternoon. I don't really have anything I have to do or anywhere I have to be for a little while. So I thought while I'm out and about, I'm going to go drop some stuff off at Goodwill and I thought I would just go to Walmart or Target. I might go to Target. I don't know. I'm going to go somewhere. Somebody's trying to call me. I might try to go pick up some stuff today because I, ha I have time. So for this extra kid, what we might do I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. I may do all of his stuff in one video, like show you everything I bought, because it's just going to be the one. Um, and so this is like an extra one. I'll show you everything I bought, and then we'll wrap stuff. So that might be just a separate video all, all to itself. So, yes, I'm excited. Oh, my God, though. There are so, so many tree, so many angels on that tree. I mean, it's just covered and oh, it just makes my heart hurt. I just, oh, there were so many. But I, I can't do them all. I don't have the time or the money to do them all. But if I would, I, if I could do it, I would totally do. I would, do, I would get something for all of them. Oh, God. Okay. But we, we, we did take another one. So we did, we got an extra one. And so we're going to get him some stuff. And uh, I'm excited. Yay. So I'm thinking about doing this fifth kid stuff just all like all together there's food line i wonder if they're crowded hell yeah every grocery store today is going to be very busy that's the way it always is the day the day before thanksgiving everybody is in there getting last minute stuff some people don't even start shopping for their preparing their meal until like a day or two before my mom, like I said, my mom, when I was growing up, my dad hates Thanksgiving type food. He doesn't like ham. He doesn't like turkey. He doesn't like the traditional side dishes and stuff. Um, he likes macaroni and cheese, but only if it's made a certain way. He doesn't like, I don't think he likes pumpkin pie. Um, yeah, he just doesn't eat stuff like that. He's, I don't, he's picky about his, the way he likes to eat. Um, it's funny, the food he likes is very basic, but he's also picky about it somehow. Like, how do those two go together? He likes vegetables. He eats mostly bread and vegetables and, like, beans and stuff. He doesn't eat a lot of meat. He eats some, but not much. He really does not, he does not like chicken. He does not like turkey. He does not like ham. He likes sausage and, like, beef, which he, even that, he doesn't eat very often. He'll eat a, he won't turn down a sausage biscuit, but you know, every now and then he might get a hamburger or a taco, but he likes Taco Bell, which kind of surprised me. I remember he first discovered Taco Bell. He discovered he liked it about 20 years ago, and I was really shocked. Like, really? I would have never thought you would like Taco Bell. He said, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Well, if you think about it, it has most of the stuff you like. I just didn't think he would like the seasoning. You know, he just, yeah, it's fine. Um, but so for Thanksgiving as a kid, all my mom would do is she would get like a turkey breast and cook that and make a pan of dressing and we'd have our can of cranberry sauce. And that's what my brother and I would have and my mom would have and my mom would have to make a separate meal for my dad because he hates that kind of food. He doesn't want any of that kind of stuff. So she would make a separate meal for him 
and that was all we ever did for Thanksgiving. My grandparents, my, both of my dad's parents died when I was really small. I don't really remember either of them. Somebody keeps trying to call me, but it's an unknown number, and I'm not going to answer it if they want it. They haven't left a message, so it must not be too important. I figure if you can't be bothered to leave me a message, I'm not going to call you back. Must not have been too important. I get spam calls all the time. It's so annoying. Um, so my, my dad's parents both died within like a month of each other when I was really little. And I don't, I was like two years old. I don't remember them. My mom's parents both lived, my grandfather died when I was in college and my grandmother lived on up until I was in my early thirties. They don't do, they never did anything for Thanksgiving because they didn't like that kind of food either. You know, turkey and ham and all that. They didn't like stuff like that. So they just never did anything for Thanksgiving either. My, my family never got together for Thanksgiving. Ever. Not one single time. We just don't. And don't feel weird if your family doesn't. Because I think it's a lot more common than people realize. I, you know, It always makes me uncomfortable when people ask. You know, I always just say, well, I spent it with family. Because I did. I was with my kids. But that's every day. But I spent it with my family. They really just want to talk about their Thanksgiving. So you just answer it very quickly and ask them how theirs was and let them talk about it because they enjoy it. They usually have some sort of story to tell. I got a stink bug over here on my window. It's hanging on for dear life. <laughs> His little wings are... <laughs> just let go, man. Just let go. You can fly. What are you worried about? Shit. Look at that little bastard. Can you see him? <laughs> I'm not looking at you. I'm driving. <laughs> Look at him. I'm rooting for you, man. I'm rooting for you. You can make it to Goodwill. It's only about another mile. <laughs> will, he, will he make it? Will he hold on? I, I don't know. I'm not looking at y'all. I'm just holding it there. Look at his wings, how they're angled out. He looks like an anime character. <laughs> will he survive? Will he make it? Come on, buddy. We, we're, we're hoping you make it. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to take the camera off of him now. I want to see if he makes it. <clears throat> He's been on there ever since I stopped at the post office. <laughs> so, how's your day before Thanksgiving? <laughs> Probably better than this stink bugs. He's stressed. Oh shit! He blew away. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's a bummer. I was hoping he would make it. Well, he's fine. They can fly. You can't. You can't do anything about a stink bug. I hate those damn things. They stink. They smell like cilantro. <sighs> so I have some stuff to drop off at Goodwill again. I'm constantly getting rid of stuff. I have started sorting all of my donations and all the good stuff goes to the little thrift store and the stuff that they don't take, I take to Goodwill or there are several other little thrift stores, but I'm, I'm close to this one and I'm thinking about going on up to the Taj Mahal Mart doing a little shopping for our fifth angel. See if I, we could find some Hot Wheels stuff and some Paw Patrol stuff and what, pa oh, Power Rangers, he likes Power Rangers. And Daniel the Tiger. Daniel Tiger. Wasn't that something that started on um, Mr. Rogers? Because he had that little puppet. And I always thought it was adorable. This little tiger puppet who's kind of orange. Well, Daniel the Tiger. And I think, didn't he wear a watch? I think he had on a watch. I remember thinking that was weird. Like, what the hell does a puppet need with a watch? Where you got to be? You got an appointment? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, Daniel Tiger. Is there a car on the side of the road? They're putting in some pipe up here. What in the hell? Ooh, what the hell is going on right here? Anyway, kids running around. I don't know what we're doing. There's a Dollar General right there, but I don't, we don't need anything from in there. I don't reckon. I want to get a little bit more stocking stuff. Oh, we got to do a stocking for the fifth kid too. I don't have anything for his stocking. Shoot, I got to do a stocking for him. I'm excited. I'm, I, I, am, I can't tell you how grateful I am to be in a position to be able to do this. Like I say, if I had the time and the money, I would, I would take all of those angels that have not been picked yet, and I would go shopping for all of them. I would hire assistants to go with me. Like, I need a staff because there are tons of them. 
if I had the time and money, we would make sure they all had something fun to open on Christmas Day. But I can do, I'm doing five, so I mean, that's, that's good. That's good. I'm grateful to be able to do that. And I'm going to do it as long as I am financially able to do it. I will continue to do it as long as possible. Um, oh, God, I discovered something. When I got home from my trip to Walmart and Aldi, you know what I found? I went into the kitchen and I looked up. I don't know what made me look up. I looked up into the corner. I have a water leak up there. There's water damage on my ceiling, like up in the corner. And I don't know what it is. I don't know where it's from, but looking at it, I believe it is coming from either my bathtub or my sink in my bathroom upstairs. That's about, I mean, that, but sometimes water will travel. It won't drip down where it's, it could be coming from over here and running down a pipe and dripping over here. That may not be what it is, but it, whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's coming from my bathroom because I'm looking at it like my bathroom is right above that. So whatever it is, it's coming from my bathroom. So I went ahead and texted the, the company that did the work on the back of my house to see if they could come out like next week. So they're going to be in touch with me on Monday to see about coming out to look at it to see if we can determine like what needs to be done. Um, hopefully it's nothing serious, but yeah, so it's always something. And that's what I always try to tell people. If you're going to buy a house, if you, if you've never owned a home before, that is one thing you need to be prepared for is there's, there's always something that needs to be fixed. It may be something you can fix yourself. It may not. I mean, you'd never know. And you have to be prepared and understand that, you know, when you own a home, you can't just call the landlord to come fix it. You know, you're up, you are on deck for everything that happens. You're going to have to take care of it, whether you do it yourself or get somebody else to do it. Um, yeah, and that is something that you need to take to keep in mind. And I would recommend, and this is not financial advice, I, you know, I would not buy a house on the upper, upper limit of your price range. I would go lower, significantly lower if possible. Don't look at it like, well, they approved me for a loan for this big amount of money. Like, say, $400,000. And I realize for a lot of houses, that's not a lot, but you just, it's an example. They're going to let me borrow $400,000. Here's a house that's $399,000. I can afford it. Eh? Yeah. I w not financial advice, just advice from a goober on the internet. Don't take, take it for whatever. I would not buy that house unless you can get it a lot cheaper than that. If you make an offer that's low and, and they take it, okay, but I would not do that. I would not do that. First of all, you need to look at how much of your tax is going to be every year. How much is your homeowner's insurance going to be every year? Um, how much are you going to have to pay to heat and cool this house? All these things are things that you are going to have to pay for this house every month or once a year, you know, whatever, however often you need to pay it. Are you going to be able to afford that? I mean, yeah, maybe they will let you borrow that much. <clears throat> that doesn't mean you should borrow that much. It's like when I was in college, and I worked all through college except for my freshman year. I didn't have a car, and there was other shit going on. Um, but I worked. I got a job that summer and have worked ever since. Um, I had friends in college that would borrow money. They would take out student loans, and they would borrow the maximum amount every semester. Like, yeah, I don't know. They would take, they would borrow the maximum amount and blow it. They would take the extra money and either go somewhere for spring break. I knew people that would go like to Europe for spring break on part of their student loan money, or they would just, you know, buy useless shit with it. Like, and I would try to talk to these people like, you do realize you have to pay that back. It's a loan. They are going to lend it to you, but you're going to have to pay that back. Oh, it's fine. I'm going to get a really good job after I graduate. It won't be a problem. Are you sure? You sure about that? I wouldn't uh, count my chickens before they hatch. I believe, and I, every semester I borrow the smallest, like I am sitting there like, what is the smallest amount? What can I get away with? What can I survive on and pay for what I have to have? And I work too to help supplement to, you know, so I wouldn't have to borrow as much. And I, try, I would work 20 to 30 hours a week. 
to supplement that. It wasn't a ton of money, but you know, I was only making four dollars and twenty-five cents an hour, no, four four twenty an hour, <laughs> four twenty. So it wasn't a lot of money, but it you know, it every little bit helped. Um, and every every semester, I'm sitting there doing the math, just shaking like, shit. What is the smallest amount that I can borrow and still live on? You know, I, I was not blowing my money on anything. I never went anywhere for spring break. I stayed at home. The good thing about spring break was I worked extra hours on spring during spring break and I would get caught up on, you know, work for school or whatever. You know, that was my time to, you know, earn a little bit of extra money and catch up on stuff. I, I never went anywhere for spring break. Shit, I had roommates that would go to Brazil, You'd go to, you know, I don't know, fucking one of them went to Scotland one year on student loan money. Like, you know, I don't know that I would do that. <laughs> I just, I'm thinking that's not smart. But my parents raised me to be very careful with money. You know, that that's one thing I am so, so grateful for for my parents is that they taught me money management. Save your money. Learn to be patient. You do not have to have everything right away. And that is something a lot of people, even grown-ups, don't get. You are not entitled to everything right away. You need to wait and you need to earn the money to pay for it. Nobody owes you anything. I don't know how the hell I got off on that. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So, if you want to own a house, shit happens. Like, what is causing that leak? It could be that when they put in my sinks, something wasn't hooked up quite right and the sink is leaking. Or it could be my shower. I honestly don't know. We're gonna have they're gonna have to get in there and look at it to figure out where the leak is coming from. So and they know better how to do that than I do. But just my initial inspection of everything up there, I could not determine where the leak was coming from. I felt around and it may not even be coming from those pipes under my cabinet, under my counter. Everything was dry. Like I didn't feel any anything anywhere. It may very well be my shower. Maybe something in there is leaking. I don't know. But something is definitely leaking up there. Because that spot is new. That was not there before. This is new. Um, in the meantime, I may just use my kid's shower. And like, maybe use the sink that I don't normally use. I may just not use that for now. Just because I don't want to make it worse. If that is what's doing it. But... Yeah, yeah, it's always something. When you own a house, man, there's always something. But, yes, I am so excited. I have I have my list here. What are we going to get for this child? Let's see. Five-year-old boy. We have sizes for shirts, jackets and sweaters, pants and underwear. And then they say, Do you, does your child need clothing? Circle one, yes or no. They didn't circle either one. We'll, we'll get them a little bit of we'll get them a little bit of stuff for the sizes we have. I don't have a shoe size. Um, yeah, they didn't put a shoe size or socks or anything like that. Um, he likes Hot Wheels, Cars, Power Rangers, Daniel Tiger, Paw Patrol, and Bluey. I don't know what that is. It looks like B L U I E. I don't know what that. I don't, I don't know what the hell that is. His favorite color is pink. And let's see, parent, guardian, what would you like to see under the tree for your child? Toy cars, balls, and a scooter. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And you know what's perfect for this? When I was in Aldi earlier, they had, um, and somebody told me they had this last year, and I looked and I never found it. They have this wrapping paper with Volkswagen buses on it. I mean, it's not like genuine Volkswagen buses, but it's like Santa driving a little bus. It looks like a Volkswagen bus. I bought a roll. So we're going to do his presents in the Volkswagen bus paper, and it has a lot of pink in it. So I think it's super cute, and I don't really have any presents to wrap. I mean, like, Glenda the Good Witch and I, what we do typically, um, I will just ask him, is there anything in particular you want? And he's, he has told me flat out, like, I don't need any more stuff. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. I don't want anything for Christmas, like, stuff. What we usually do is we take each other out to eat. Like, wherever you want to go, and we will... So, I will take him out for a nice dinner somewhere. So, that's his Christmas. So, I don't have anything to wrap there. Um, my dad and stepmom, I will, I will have a couple... I'll get them a couple of things. My kids just have a couple of little things. So I don't have a lot to wrap. And I have tons of wrapping paper up in the attic. Um, 
So I will use the Volkswagen bus wrapping paper for our fifth angel here because it's really, really cute. Now I want to have a chance to show it to you. Well, probably what we'll do, we'll just do that one in like a separate video where I will show you everything because there won't be as much because it's just one kit. So I'll show you everything I bought and then we will wrap everything. So that'll be just like one little self-contained video. I might show you the stocking. I'll show you the stocking stuff too. I'll get him some stocking stuff. Just, you know, just little stuff. Nothing crazy. Just so he'll have a little stocking for his Christmas morning. Yay! So I'm excited. But I wanted to tell you about that really quick. It's just that I got it. And uh, and I'm going to be getting that together. I think I'm going to go do a little bit of shopping today. and Because I'm running out of time. you know. But I'm hoping next week to make a lot of progress on this. And, and get everything ready. And try to get stuff turned in as early as possible. But thank you so much again for being here. I hope your day is going super great. And I will see you again soon.